Hello boys and girls. In today's video we finish pinning the heads and lap the valves. Enjoy!
guys. So you saw me clean the heads, lap the heads, clean the block. Just a lot of clean, clean, clean. We, we clean the valves. Now what I did was, I know some of you may, may be against it or simply may not know, but I know I understand you got to be very careful doing any of this, what I just did. Uh, you know, especially cleaning the valves. Now I used this steel wire wheel and this brass wire wheel. Now I didn't, I, the intake ones, the bigger ones, I only cleaned the faces of it, okay? Did not even lap uh, where they meet with the head. But the exhaust ones, I used the steel to clean the top and then the brass to clean the underneath here. But what you gotta be careful about is this area from here to here where it where this travels inside the head inside the valves seals a little scratch here this works like your lifters or your even your piston inside cylinder walls the, these wheels wear out so you got to be careful not to damage this area same thing when you lap it you want to make sure this is clean, the inside of the head is clean when you put it back in uh, to spin it, you know, with the, the suction cup. Wipe it off if, if it's, if it seems like it's not going in or something is in the way, take it off, don't push it. It's, it should almost drop on its own. Make sure you oil this, lubricate it with uh, WD-40 or oil, whatever oil is cheaper, you know, um, when you, when you, before you turn it, okay, it's got to go in easy. See, I didn't lap the intake ones, only the exhaust. They came out pretty good. This was very minor. This was like kind of a refresh. Okay, if this was in any worst state, then I would just give it to a shop for them to relap it and uh, lash it or relash it, whatever, readjust it. Uh, that's why. That's why I measured the lash before I even took them out. Um, some of them are a bit too loose by a thousand, maybe a thousand and a half. I'm gonna check them again once after the lapping that I just did. So they're going to the shop for decking anyways and cleaning. Whenever you do these areas here, still RTV goes back on here. So they just, all these got was just a light, very light 2000 sandpaper. You gotta remember, you're gonna go off take off any really any material you just want to clean it off because the cams spin here if you take any material off then these will become little you know slightly eggy shaped instead of round when uh, when they go back in same thing when you're cleaning inside here you saw me clean the passages the runners with a steel brush careful not to hit the seat the valve seat or when you uh, same thing when you push when you put these back they don't go just almost just drop in there is dirt here they turn the lifters they turn inside here that's got to be super clean also clean where the intake manifold goes this I uh, had uh, kind of a hard time scraping off the old gasket with a um, razor blade you want whenever you're going to use a razor blade careful a lot of people say don't use a razor blade but if you know what you're doing you know use it as you can see i didn't scratch the surface at all if you're careful you can do anything same thing with the exhaust side also cleaned up the thermostat housing and i made a mistake this is actually not my block i took these guide pins out for no reason, I, well, really, I just wanted to lightly clean this, these surfaces here. So same thing with these surfaces here, where the two blocks come together. You only want to clean this area, you don't want to take any material off. Because, same story, like with the camshafts, these, where the crankshaft drops in, 
they need to stay around. If you take any material off, these will become an egg shaped instead of a circle. So these pins, took them off thinking I'm gonna just buy new ones and put them in, put them back in, right? Well, I first of all, I destroyed them, taking them off. They just didn't want to, because they were rusted inside and had dirt here and then, you know, all around and inside, especially inside. I thought I'll just get new ones just for the sake of it. Well, they're not available. They only come with the block. So I call the dealer, I take them off, right? I call the dealer. This guy, it's, it turned out that he didn't know what I was talking about. I was pretty clear on it, what I need. You know, the two guide pins for the blocks to come together. You know, when you split the block, you got those two dowel pins or guide pins. That's what I need. Yeah, he said, yeah, I got them. You know, uh, three days, it'll be here. You know, two bucks each or whatever, right? You know, cool, whatever. So I go there after the three days. I or also ordered some other stuff. He ordered me the pins that go from the block to the transmission. I'm like, you know, really, dude? So we're looking, we're going through the pictures with the parts guy. Can't, can't seem to even find the part number for those pins. And uh, I go over to this mechanic, which was standing close by to us. And, uh, you know, I wave him over, hey man, can you help us out? Can you let this parts guy know, you know, what I'm talking about? Because he doesn't know. So the three of us are looking at the pictures here and, you know, it turns out they're not available. And this mechanic guy, he's like, hey, you know, we, we got a block uh, sitting here. We just took it out. This guy had a, a rod knock in an 08, uh, 08 WRX. If you can split the block here and you take the pins, you know, you're, you're welcome to. I'm like, yeah, man, if you let me borrow your tools, I'll do it, you know. And then the parts guy ch chimes in and he says, you got to make sure John is okay with it. So the mechanic left, five minutes, comes back. He's like, you know, John's okay with it, whoever John may be. So I'm like, cool, man, let me pay for this and I'll be there, you know, I'll use your tools uh, and I'll just, you know, take the pins. He's like, no, just take the whole thing. I'm like, really? I can take the whole block. So this was a complete block, but, uh, you know, it was shot. Uh, they had a, a rod knock on number four, I believe and the crank a beautiful crank destroy well not destroy i can still use it but starting from about mid of 08 subaru started making nitrated hardened crankshafts and that's what uh, what this block had inside but since it had a rod knock you know where the rod sits on the crank that the only that one was destroyed. I'm not sure what to call that, uh, you know, rounded area where the uh, rod sits as the crank turns. That was destroyed. Everything else was like almost like new. Well, you just needed uh, polishing. After over 100,000 miles, I can still use the crank in the future if I you know, take some material off, but that will take the hardened material off. It will become uh, like my crankshaft right now. You know, mine is, is, all it needs is polishing, but the nitrated would be a nice upgrade as well for durability, the hardened uh, metal would be nice. So anyways, I'm taking that new, well, new old from the WRX uh, black with the pins back to the machine shop, the heads also, a new flywheel, um, the, the um, factory pulley, uh, and the factory rods. I'm keeping the rods. They are forged. After all, they can take four, four up to maybe 450 horsepower to the wheels. All that is going to get balanced. The block is going to get checked and cleaned. The heads are going to get checked, decked and clean and uh yep that is it for now here this is your bumper bumper beam here had a little bit of rust here cleaned it off painted it took the ac system off as you can see the condenser is gone the lines ac lines are gone 
all that's left is the expansion valve. That's gonna stay, I'm just gonna block it somewhat. I filed down whatever I destroyed, taking the um, engine off. Remember, it was stuck on this pin here. I'm gonna put anti seize on here. So, all this is this is ready to go. All right, guys, that is it for now. Not sure what's next. I'll just wait till everything comes back from the shop, from the machine shop. More repair videos soon to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.